Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Vince with Green Joe Coffee again. And uh, in this one, I'm going to be answering a question from uh, Sandy, uh, uh, who's, who's purchased my ebook and she, uh, The Ultimate Guide to Building Coffee Trucks. And she, she has a question about, um, about obtaining permits. And so the question is how do you go about picking where to obtain your permits? Um, she wants to to basically travel place to place, and uh, she's wondering if she would have to obtain permits in every city. And what about non cities like national parks? Um, so this is a great question, and um, it's a really good question. A lot of us uh, want to do this exact same thing. So I've had I've I've traveled uh, to a couple of different places. I went to California to um, Palm Springs or Coachella. And did a Rolling Stones concert out there, and I did. I had to get uh, permitted for that event out there, and um, I was able to do some negotiations where the event was able to take care of my permitting fees. And you guys might be able to do that as well um, with a little bit of pre-planning. But um, it was I did. I had to get inspected by the health uh, department, the fire department. I had to change out my uh, fire extinguishers um, for the fire department and have them. Uh, uh, you know, to take a look at by their local guys. So um, to answer that question, there's not one kind of national standard when it comes to coffee truck. And California has you know, California standard. In my in my opinion, California and Washington are considered like the golden standards as far as um, food trucking. Um, but you know, so if you you know, often if you meet California standard, by default you'll meet other standards. But when it comes to the permitting process, you know those guys they they want they want their cash too, you know. So um, that's a tough one, you know. Uh, <clears throat> I would have to say just kind of look at what the permitting, where you want to go, what the permitting process for that is in that particular area, and see if you can get like a temporary food permit. Um, that's going to be your best bet, um, as opposed to applying for kind of a permanent um, food unless you want to stay permanently. Um, as far as non-cities go, like national parks, I've talked to some other truckers out there and they kind of just slide in under the radar, you know, kind of this like catch me if you can type of thing. Um, not saying that that's something I would advise, but, you know, we've set up at kind of places out and about, um, uh, parks and stuff and, um, you know, we're there for a few hours and then we move on and I don't think that really bothers anyone. Um... But I mean, if you're planning on like you know setting up at a national park, you, you'll probably have to get permission from from that group there. So, you know, being mobile with the the food truck and kind of doing like a national tour, which is kind of a dream of mine, is to go around to some of the different national parks. Um, it just it requires a little ahead. It's you know you got two choices. You can uh, plan ahead and get permissions from those groups, or like they used to say in the army, uh, you know, it's better to ask forgiveness and permission. Now, the negative on that is then some of those tickets might eat up any potential profit that you, you would have made. Uh, so, yeah, just take a look at where you want to go and, and what the permitting process to that is. And then, of course, you would, you would have to file for a temporary permit in that, that city. Uh, the next question is, is it beneficial for you to have a home base after completing the build? I mean, there is, um, because you can build clientele, and that's nice. Um, so the benefit of having a home base is people know where to find you, you build a following, you get your name out, you get recognized, you get reviews, those type of things. You build a business, you know, that's that's a benefit. Now, the negative to that is, is by becoming dependable, you are then held to that standard. So if you, if you tell everybody, I'm going to be at this park on Saturdays, and then if you want to go somewhere else on Saturday, well, your good word is on is is put on the line at that point. So just be mindful of that. You know, uh, in the beginning, I was very hesitant to doing uh, Saturday uh, events, not events, but being steady at a place on Saturday because honestly, I, I wanted the freedom of of having my weekends. You know, I didn't leave a corporate job um, just so I could work weekends for myself. You know, it's, I wanted to spend time with my family, and so. 
uh, for us, uh, I'm not dependable on Saturday. If you if you say, hey, where can I find you on Saturday? I say, you can't. You know, <laughs> I'm not open. <laughs> I'm with my family, you know. And uh, that's kind of the benefit to this whole thing is, is being able to kind of make your own hours on what you think is going to work good for you. Now, just be mindful. Saturday, very often, there's large events. And uh, so... You know, you can get your business into a place where there's a big gathering of people and, and make a pretty penny over that. I know, you know, if I go to a Saturday event um, and there's over 500 to 1,000 people, I can easily uh, come out of that with three, 400 bucks. And so, you know, that's beneficial, you know. Um, so as far as having a home base, home base lets you create dependability and that lets you create clientele. And at this point, about 50% of our purchases come from returning customers. We're about smack dab in the middle. In the beginning, it wasn't like that. And at some point, I'd love to be at 75%. It means I'm doing something right. Um, so there's a benefit to that, that you know, one of the keys to coffee is it's habitual. People drink it every day. I drink it, I drink coffee every day. And so if you're my coffee guy, you're, I'm gonna go to you every day. It's not like tacos where it's just Tuesday, you know? So. Um, so that's kind of nice, uh, having, having, uh, that type of dependability. So I hope that answers your question, Sandy. Um, I'll look forward to more of your questions. Thank you so much for buying the ebook. I mean, it really helps us out here and, and, uh, and I hope it, it works well for you. Um, folks, if you like this video, subscribe, uh, to the, the channel. Um, you can go on to my website. I have the ebook. I also, uh, put out my, uh, my monthly uh, report so you can find out how much we're making now. And uh, if there's any questions, shoot them my way. Thank you so much. My name's Vince. This is Green Joe Coffee. Good luck to you.